Monday. Today's a day off, probably for most of us. Um, I'm chilling today. <laughs> I am super chilling. I'm about to make me some coffee. And that's it. Um, I got a brain fog really quickly. I had something to say, but I'm, I'm going to remember. Let's go to you guys. How was you guys a weekend? Let me tell you guys. You guys know I had a crappy week. Crappy, crappy week, right? In regards to my AC unit, my security system. Everything got fixed. My AC unit is still, it's working, but it's, you know, I got to get the water damage repaired and all that good stuff. However, you know, I had in the death I found about. However, um, my weekend, it turned out to be really good. Really, really good. <laughs> I was surprised. I went and got a haircut on Thursday. And it's growing back already. That's one thing about having a short haircut. It grows back fast. And, you know, I'm, I'm all pushed up. I got my waist trainer on. So, you know, you wear a waist trainer. Everything goes up. I got on one of them good, um, that bra I got from um, TJ Maxx with no underwire. Y'all. I bought six. I'm about to go back and find me six more because this is this is it i don't want to wear underwire no more i don't and they still push them up well th this is helping it too but even without it, it still look good so the underwire for your girl no more <laughs> well not unless i go out or something like that and i need it to be lifted more than what they are just for um outfit purposes but for the most part this is gonna be the everyday because there's no need to have all of that wire brazen against you but um i'll leave um this my shapewear because um miss brenda if you watch this video she did ask me what shape did i have on in my last video i will leave it down below um in my amazon shop down below and i'll leave um this one as well. This is J Scope. You probably can see it. But um during that time of the month, I like to compress really hard because I bloat like nobody business. And I try not to eat pasta bread and all that other good stuff, but uh, you know what happens, right? <laughs> but I had a really, really good weekend. Choice of coffee. <laughs> I had a really good weekend. I got some really, really good news. And when I tell you, sometimes we sit back and we be like, why me? Why me? Why me? Why is this happening? You know, all these things are happening at once. But you know, when we going through it, we not, we, that's all we thinking about. But once it actually passes, we're like, Whew. and then when the other good news come on top, I got some really, really good news. Oh my God. I had to concentrate. I had to do a certain amount of scoops, you know, because I don't like my coffee tasting like dirty water. I don't, I don't, I don't like that. So. I like to, you know, make sure I'm, you gotta have it right, you gotta have it right. But, um, y'all come on over here. I gotta wash the coffee pot out, so y'all come on. Okay, I gotta cut the light on, so y'all can kinda see me, but. I like to soak my coffee pot every night, I don't know why. It's just a mental thing. Meanwhile, I could just wash it out. There's something about leaving soap in it. And I only have the coffee, the, the water to right here. So I've, I've never made a big cup of, um, a big pot of coffee. Old school style, you know, nothing fancy dancy. I'm not into like the Nespresso and the Keurigs and all that stuff like that. And you know what, maybe if I taste it, I might be into it, but I'm just not. I, I like this old school style coffee maybe because you know i was brought up i don't know my mother didn't my mother don't drink coffee she likes tea but you know i seen my you know my aunt 
she made to both my aunts made coffee coffee pot you know because this style ain't changed for years this has been this style for a long time <laughs> they may have like some different shape ones but you know for the most part this is how they are but today um i gotta go do some grocery shop i'm gonna record two videos and what else I gotta make some Pinterest pins for my blog. For my blog. Let me turn this around. I got all these suds in this sitting sink, this little pot. I got all these suds. I need to my suds. But yeah, guys, I gotta tell you guys something. Let me let me brew this coffee and I'm gonna tell you. And I use faucet water, the tap water, to make my um my coffee. It doesn't have to be. Um bottle water. Because it's going through the the filter. Y'all, y'all know I've been reading some books, right? Y'all know I just came from Barnes and Noble and I bought a bunch of books. Let me tell you something. I could not put this book down. Let me, let me, um, let me, um, I'm trying to figure out something I'm going to put you guys again. Why that's brewing. Let me, um, get y'all back up here again. So y'all can um, know about this book. Okay. This book right here. Now I did read a little couple, maybe one or two lines from the back. But what got me was the four bullet points. That was enough for me. And the book was small. So I was like, you know what? This book is small and it's going to hit these points quick because the book is small. You know, you just can't put on the book, this is what you're going to talk about. And then you get in the end and meat potatoes. It's not what it is. I read the back. I even read these side panels here. The back panel. I read the author's notes. I read the introduction. And normally I don't read nobody's introduction. I just go on and read chapter one and get right into it. And that's because I I've, I've did that in undergrad and I did that in grad school. I just need to get to the meat and the potatoes of my class. So when I started reading books for personal pleasure, that's how I did it. But this particular book here, mm, when I went to sleep last night, I slept so good. Not saying the book did, the book did not do that. The fact that my mind was focused on something else. Like I don't even look at my phone at night because I don't have social media, but I will tell you guys, I did get back on Instagram today. So I am back on Instagram. I'm gonna talk about that in a few minutes. And I was telling you, I got something to tell you guys. But since I done jumped into social media, let me um get into that. So with this here, this book, you don't have to do it in chronological order. You could just jump. It's not like a devotional or anything like that, but you could just jump. You know, if you feel like you just wanna feel grateful, read the little grateful passage, you know, and then do the exercise. You know, it's things that you can do on a daily basis. It's like building habits too, so you can have a happier and positive, you know, mindset. Because sometimes we do let negativity that slip into our head. Not that we're doing it on purpose, you know. Sometimes things do happen. The happiest people, sometimes slip you know what i mean but they know how to get back in we're human we're human you know so i'm coming to see that i, I am hard on myself i'm very hard on myself so this was a this I, I went through the introduction which was like a chapter and i went through two chapters so i'm, I'm very proud to get me a little um bookmark so i know why where i am and my daughter she's reading her books too 
she um got me said moms beat my books all night i was like me too <laughs> so we was like good night good night everybody done went in that you know quarters but we were up all reading it was crazy you know so it does make me feel good that you know we're being bookworms in the middle of the night you know it, it, it's definitely a good feeling so yeah good book I, i'm thinking about um going back to get another one of these books and possibly gifting it but i definitely want to finish reading it before I gift something like this. Because you don't want to gift something and you haven't even read it all the way through. So yeah. And when I went on to Amazon, they had it, but they didn't have like multiple sellers of this book. And Barnes and Noble, they had, of course, multiples. You hear my Kogi Pop back there getting it? Getting it. You hear? Getting it gonna be good coffee let me make my coffee we're gonna go sit outside i'm gonna read my book while i drink my coffee and i want to um just tell you a little bit about instagram and then later on we're gonna go food shop i'm gonna go to walmart and then i gotta get into um get my videos done so just a little chit chat you know chit with your girl chit chat you know we gotta you know chit chat every now and then got chit chat <laughs> you see this you see this stance <laughs> make this coffee y'all toys out bring your toys out normally it's quiet around here but we let them live right we let them live so like i mentioned to you earlier i am back on instagram my link will be down below here's my um thing <laughs> i got back on instagram because it's only been five months and it's so funny because nobody nobody missed me right maybe a handful of people that may have talked to me. I was like, oh, girl, you, where you been? I can't find you, so forth and so on. But um, I was talking to my friend and a friend of mine. And I was talking to another friend. Some of you may know her. Her name is Chanel. And I was just like, I don't think I'm, I don't, I don't think I'm going to go back. Because it was no reason. You know, it wasn't like it was helping me in any kind of way. But as I thought about what I said to her, I was like, Kelly, don't be like that. You sound like you mad about something. <laughs> Just being straight. I was like, Kelly, you sound like you mad about something. I was like, go ahead, Kelly, go ahead, get back on. And use Instagram how it best fits you some people use instagram as an extension of their business their brand they use it to be nosy they use it to be annoying or they use it just to say hey you know what's up you know kind of you know keeping to know what's going on you know with other people and you know just kind of exchanging the whole you know what facebook was intended for back in the day when it first came out right so i said kelly don't be like that don't be like that go ahead get back on test the waters so it's been five months um i don't know when i'm gonna post um i did go on in and look nothing has changed <laughs> everybody is still up there doing what they do um but I don't know what I'm going to post. So, we shall see. I know a lot of you um, are on Instagram. 
because some of you say i've been looking for you and your instagram is not there and i do have my instagram name down there but since i deactivated the page you can't get to it so now it's open a lot of you are on there let's be friends i prefer to follow people that are we in the same room realm if that makes any sense you know you following me because you like what i do and you think i'm cool i'm following you because one you're just as cool as i am <laughs> and we're into the same thing so you know I, i'd rather keep it there i'm not following people because they doing this and they doing that no we're, we're not doing that I need to be able to connect. That makes any sense. Um, we'll see how it goes. I don't. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I don't even know if I made the right decision to even get back on Instagram. <laughs> but we'll see how it goes. So that's the end of that one. So I was reading my book. Got to, another, got to another chapter easy read easy read i can see myself um reading some more tonight it's an easy read i like it i'm happy i got the book eight dollars good purchase ending off last week <laughs> good purchase so let me see um what my baby's doing and See if she want to go with me to Wally World. If she don't want to go to Walmart, then oh well. <laughs> I might just sit and do my videos. I was trying to wait because I had my do rag on. I was trying to really wait for do my videos to make sure that my line came out my forehead. It's still kind of there. You can kind of still see it. So I'm gonna do my makeup look. And I was talking to my girlfriend on the phone, and she was like, Kelly, step out the box. Do some color. I was like, ugh. Do what? Do what? So, I told her I would go buy a palette that has some color in it. It's going to be super affordable. So, it's probably like Makeup Revolution or something like that. Because it's $8. And I'm going to see. I'm going to see. Because me and color, I don't, I just can't envision blue on my eyes, purple on my eyes. I just can't envision it. I mean, I've done it before, but I didn't like it. Maybe because the way I did it, maybe, I don't know. We shall see. We shall see. But anyhow, I don't know what's going on with my lighting on my camera. I don't like how this is looking. I'm not looking like bright and i mean it's not the best of day out here but by me being outside my camera should still be bright so mm, let's see what we're gonna do i'm gonna go and um put some clothes on and come outside i have my sweater out here if you don't got some if you don't got y'all age graceful down below <laughs> i was gonna put this on but it's not really that um cool it's kind of warming up so i need to put it on but i'm gonna sit out here for a little while longer enjoy listen to nature and we're gonna go either to walmart or we're gonna go to target all right y'all i'm over here just daydreaming <laughs> what's up y'all many um hours later makeup on the face I did a makeup look. I did record this, so you'll be seeing this probably next. But um, I came out to get me some wine. I'm at Total Wines. I've been hearing so much about this wine, this Pinot Grigio. I was like, you know what? Let me come get it. I'm really on a Pinot Grigio kind of gal, but um, we're gonna get some just to kind of see. It's like it's like twenty dollars. I mean, twenty eight dollars, something like that. So I'm gonna do that and. Yeah, let's go. I'm way up on the coke and rum. You stay up, open up, come on. Don't wait up, cause I'm way too gone. Don't wait up, wait up. I'm way up on the coke and rum. You stay up, open up, come on. Don't wait. I'm in 
in it for the big fun This time I'm bringing up the big guns Bang, bang, they wonder can I get some What I got's for everyone, yeah Sit down and get to know the sofa Stand up when shit is taking over Come here if you was getting sober What I got's for everyone, yeah So I came all this way to get this wine And come to find out the wine that I want they don't even have, they don't even make it here. So, I have to, um, I have to figure out something, we don't know. But anywho, they don't, even, they don't even make it here in North Carolina, they don't even ship it here. It's only for California and New York. So, let's check out. Okay y'all, so, <laughs> I got my wine. I spent about $48.77. Got three wines. Hope I like them. I mean, I've never, I don't, I, I don't buy Pinot Grigio. That's more of a dry, crisp wine. I hear some really good things about it. So I said, click step out the box, be different. You know, don't always stick to what you know, like, you know, a sweet red or a Moscato, you know, or something, you know, something sweet. Step out the box, you know, and, you know, explore a little bit. So, I went in there for a particular wine. I will leave it somewhere over here or over here. However, the brand, they do have the wine brand at the Total Wines, right? And they do have it at the Target, but it's different. I guess different parts of Italy, like I guess like the cities or whatever, the towns. The gentleman said, you will not find the one that I'm looking for in North Carolina I will have to go to either New York or I will have to go to California so yeah or I can order it and have it shipped if I go onto the Total Wine website and I will have it shipped so he told me that is definitely a way that you can get around by getting the wine so the wine is super inexpensive now I did see the wine when I was in Target they wanted $28 in Target I think 28 or 23 you know however you see the 8 or the 3 at a the time then I go in the total wines all they wanted was 18 but for the same particular brand not the, the not the one that I'm really really looking for so total wines was cheap but yeah I drove a little bit to get over here but um so I got two Pinot Grigio and a Moscato so we're gonna get home we're gonna taste them the Moscato is a screw top so that can go back on but the other one isn't he told me one he would eat with seafood and one he would just eat on a regular hot day after having a stressful day that's the one he would drink I took his, you know, I took his um recommendation. I took his recommendation. <laughs> so um people looking at me. It's me talking to a camera. I'm talking to my friends. So I told you guys I was back on Instagram so make sure you come hang out with your girl I went on Instagram just to kind of see what was going on like I said nothing changed but for some reason people know I'm on Instagram now I don't I don't know so that was interesting I haven't um put back my Facebook as of yet but I will because I'm gonna start using my Facebook to promote my videos and things like that so I will definitely um get back so if you're not on Instagram and you're on Facebook and you want to hang out over there that will be the place to be but I like I like communicating oh it's a tag in this bodysuit that is giving me the business but I like communicating on Facebook. I mean, not Facebook. I like communicating on YouTube. I like that communication of like when we're doing the community tab and things like that. I really, really enjoy that. I feel like 
that's where everybody is. Everybody that I jive with is on YouTube. So, and that's y'all. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, today's a chill day. My baby didn't want to come out. She was like, no, ma, I don't want to come out. We were supposed to be going to the Walmart. That was supposed to be what we were supposed to be doing. But I recorded um, two videos. So, I got that done. Now I just have to edit. And tomorrow is work. You know, back at the grind. But I want to get this out the way first. So I can do my job. I can do my job. I talked to two of my girlfriends today. Well, three of my girlfriends today. And one, we talked on the phone for two hours. I don't know how I got work done. I don't know how I got work done. But I did, I did, in between. And we just, just had a good conversation. Just a good, good, good conversation. I, I need those. Every now and then you need a good conversation with a good girlfriend, right? And I had a good text session with one, and I talked to the other one early in the morning. We was laughing at, we laughed the whole morning. So I got my daily dose of girlfriends. And now I gotta get my daily dose of uh, some wine. I hope I like this wine, y'all. If y'all like Pinot Grigio, please let me know. Like, please let me know. Cause I'm like, if I don't like it, do, like, what do I do? And I'm not gonna return it. Like, what do I do? So, It's just a nice day. It's so quiet for one. I think everybody's just like home resting. I don't smell no barbecues going. I don't smell anything, no grill, no nothing. The stores was empty. The, the roads are pretty empty. I think everybody's like, you know what? Well, we just gonna chill out today. I'm just gonna chill. I'm looking around, I'm driving. Oop. Finally got some good quality on my camera. Cause this camera be acting a fool. But yeah, let's get to the house. I really want to get something to eat while I'm out because everybody else done ate. It was like every man for themselves today. And I'm going to cook tomorrow. But I really want to get something. But I don't want to eat fast food because I've been having an issue with eating out. So I got some chicken that I need to cook. That's th that's you know that's thaw out that's not frozen. I need to cook that and put it on a salad and eat right, you know, eat right. Mmm, it's so nice out here today. Anywho, oh man. Anywho, I'll think about something. I'm gonna um, get to the house, we're gonna open up some wine, and we're gonna cook. Okay? See you back at the house. Okay, y'all, so we're back at the house. Let me show you the wines that I have. I got my chicken over there cooking. I'm gonna make me a salad. I just made, I had some chicken breast in the um, fridge, and I said, let me just chop them up. I season them up, put some Cajun seasoning on them. And I'm gonna put that over a salad and call it a day. Everybody else done did their thing. And I'm sitting here left by my lonesome. So, first up, a Moscato. This one right here. This is a nice little twist top. So I'm gonna get this one nice and chilled before I crack that one open. He said that one has hints of honey and peach. So I love me some peach. This is, okay, he recommended this one. Alto, oh, I can't say it, but he recommended this Pinot Grigio. He said this one is really sweet, um, and I don't know if any Pinot Grigios are sweet. But they're dry, um, he said, but this one has more of a berry taste. <sighs> I don't know, but um, he recommended this one because the one that I wanted, and I'll leave it right here. Um, they don't make it here. They make it in, they, they make it, but they don't ship it here. Put it that way, so he recommended this one to be the best next thing to it. 
And he said, this one would go good with seafood. We're going to go with some chicken tonight. And he said, this was another Pinot, but this is Pinot Guiche. And he said, this one is a good for, when I said, you know, nice summer day or nice day of work. And you just want to come home and, you know, crack this puppy open. So I'm going to chill these two and I'm going to crack this one open. I had another one. This is the one I bought when the other one, I got, this is not, this is flimsy one. You know, you got a million junk drawers. All right, I'm just gonna use this one. Cause this is the one I got in emergency. When I bought some wine, I couldn't find my, what you call it? So I picked this one up from like the local um, grocery store. But I got a real nice one that's kind of nice and sturdy. Look at this one, this one's, they're gonna taste this with me. I don't recall ever having um, Pinot Grigio. I tell you, you got work your arms, work your arms. I want to drink some water before I um. So my lipstick is holding up, y'all. My lipstick is holding up. Let's do this. It smells dry. <laughs> tell me it's still dry it doesn't go with that sweetness that you know like a moscato or something like that but or a sweet red or any type of um but it tastes dry and refreshing does that make any sense so what he explained to me i think i said it earlier this alto whatever whatever is the upper part of Italy where it's colder versus the the one that I was going to get it's kind of further down so it's kind of hotter and he said that these grapes here are sweeter so I'm learning <laughs> I'm learning very nice I can see getting I can see myself getting twisted over it's not twisted like bad but I can see a buzz happening i can see it because this the way it tastes and the the just the, the the taste of it and the alcohol level i can see it working so i'm gonna go ahead and enjoy the rest of my evening i got my chicken over there gonna make my little salad and that is it guys thank you for chilling out with me on my chill day um yeah thanks for hanging out with me I think I'm probably try these two tonight. If you tried these before from Trader Joe's, let me know. I'm kind of nervous about trying to get peanuts in them because I'm starting to feel better and I don't want to irritate nothing again. But yeah, thanks for hanging out with me. I want to say hey to all my new subscribers. And if you are new and you're here just checking it out, go ahead and subscribe. It's okay. And so, hey to all my new subscribers. Hey to all my. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with me. Catch you in the next video. Bye. Pinot Grigio for the win. <laughs>